So what we've done is identified points for intervention. Now what we're going to do is put those ideas that you've come up with into policy language. Uh, and there's some very specific language and some very specific definitions of different types of policy that we are going to um, have a look at here. So specifically, we're looking at the policy tools of government. This is the ways that government can and, and often does intervene. When we think about these policy tools, um, many of them are already at play. And so your policy recommendations could be uh, could include adding some more uh, policy ideas. It could also include intensifying current policy actions, backing off on current policy actions, or removing policy actions that are in place. So your recommendation could take many forms. For our example, uh, I've identified two potential objectives, right, in ways that I could intervene. I could intervene by uh, investing in affordable housing or by investing in wetland rehab. And remember, we've had to identify the points where we're going to intervene. Uh, remember this, this rickety bridge example. Um, and these are just a few of the policy options. There are many more in the Bardock and Potashnik book, um, and there are some more defined for you on Blackboard. Uh, but these are kind of the most common ones that you probably already have some idea exist. Um, we're all very, very familiar with regulations, right? A regulation is a specific behavior that's required of us as citizens or as corporations. Um, those are the rules, right? And if we don't obey those rules, there are going to be penalties. There could be a fine. There could be, uh, there could be incarceration. Um, there could be any number of different types of sanctions. Uh, but regulations are basically rules. Um, we're all very familiar with taxes, right? We all pay taxes. Um, and this is when the government collects money from citizens or corporations. And there are two main reasons why the government could impose a tax. First, of course, we're all very familiar with revenue, right? It costs money to operate the government. Um, and so we, the government could impose a tax to raise funds. Um, the other one is to discourage purchases, right? So if there are items that, um, maybe are not so beneficial to society um, and government wants to discourage individuals from purchasing those items, it could impose a tax. So um, cigarettes, right, are very, very heavily taxed in part to discourage people from buying and smoking cigarettes. Um, uh, in Philadelphia, they tried to impose a, a tax on sugary drinks um, to try to discourage people from, from drinking lots of soda. Um, right, so so there are those are the two main reasons a government could impose a tax. Um, the government could distribute, right, or provide a good or service to the public. The government could choose to educate the public to inform their decision making. Um, so on that pack of cigarettes is a gigantic warning label that says this product is known to cause cancer. If the government wants to encourage people to buy something um, or, or thinks it's important for people to own a thing, the government could subsidize the cost of a citizen's purchase. Um, so with uh, hybrid cars, right, uh, or electric cars, um, people can get tax incentives, right, tax bonuses to, to buy those cars. And then, of course, if, if there's a good or a service that the government doesn't provide, remember the government is in the business of uh, producing goods, for example, they could contract with a, a private or nonprofit organization that does provide those services. Um, and so what this looks like in practice, um, so if we go back to our rickety bridge example, um, starting here on the, the left side of the screen, right, um, the government could uh, provide uh, medical care to people at the point where they pull them out of the water. They could uh, put up a sign here that warns, that educates the public about the danger of the rickety bridge. They could set a regulation that says, do not cross the rickety bridge or you will pay a $500 fine, right? That's a regulation, it's a rule. Um, the government could distribute uh, water wings to people before they cross the bridge so that when they do fall in, at least they'll they'll float. The, the government will probably pay for these, these things with tax dollars. Um, and then, of course, all the way to the right here, forgive the terrible illustration, um, the government could contract with a construction company to build a new, more sturdy bridge uh, nearby. So these were just a few of the examples of policy options available to us. Um, as you go through formulating your policy options um, and exploring policy ideas, 
start to think about which type of intervention you're talking about. 